John chapter 11, that's where he raises Lazarus from the dead. You remember, Lazarus was sick and Jesus is four days late. The reactions of Mary and Martha are priceless. The Bible says Mary stays in the house, but Martha, she pulls up on Jesus like, hey, if you would have been here, my brother would not have died. Jesus says, show me where you laid him. He tells them, roll away the stone. Jesus speaks and says, Lazarus, come forth. The Bible says he comes forth leaping. Once they got their prayer answered, they didn't just bounce and walk away from the prayer answerer. Once they received their miracle, they didn't just bounce and walk away from the miracle worker. Stop treating God like he's an Uber driver. You call him when you need him. You wait impatiently for him to arrive. But once he arrives, you don't even speak to him. Once you get to your desired destination, you get amnesia and forgot who brought you there. Lazarus is still with him. Sometimes the test is not how you behave when you don't get what you want, but sometimes the test is how you handle the blessing. The devil will bless you if it will get you to sever your connection with God. Don't let your section eight praise outweigh your suburban praise. Don't let your unemployment prayers be more effectual and fervent than your prayers of gratitude for the promotion that God has given you. You gotta come to a conclusion in your life where you decree and declare, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth.